Change is inevitable. Chaco was about to be hit by a severe climate shock. I think what we've learned in the case of Chaco Canyon is that what matters is not just what's taking place in the environment, but also what's taking place in society. The priests had built up such a fragile power structure around the success of the climate that once that climate no longer delivered, that all of a sudden things fell apart. The rulers did not know it, but the Chaco community was a house of cards. Any change in the delicate balance would bring everything tumbling down. The mighty Pueblo civilization of Chaco Canyon reached the height of its power in the 11th century AD. With several thousand inhabitants, this large and bustling community enjoyed favorable climate conditions, an abundant supply of food, and great prosperity. Chaco's rulers had overseen an ambitious construction program, building monumental great houses and kivas throughout the canyon. They had also traded enthusiastically with the Mayan civilization far to the south, importing exotic luxury items such as macaw birds and chocolate. Dramatic celestial events, such as the great supernova of 1054, seemed to confirm that the gods were smiling on Chaco. At the end of the 11th century, something drastic happened to the climate around Chaco Canyon. The Chaco civilization has left no written records. But archaeologists can piece together what happened by studying the remains of a building material that was widely used in the great houses. Timber. In the 20s, we began to understand the information that's stored inside these beams. When trees grow, um, not only do we know when it first grew, that pith ring, but we know how it grew over time because the rings are fat when there's a good wet year and they're thin when it's a dry year. Each tree is recording that climatic information. The tree ring analysis revealed a stunning fact. After years of benign weather, a parching drought set in at Chaco Canyon around 1090 AD. It was followed by an even harsher drought 40 years later. Without rain, crops could not grow at Chaco. Famine ensued. The impact was sudden and devastating. Construction work on the great houses slowed dramatically. Within a few decades, it had stopped completely. The once vibrant Chaco community was brought to a jarring halt. In desperation, people began to leave the canyon. Groups of refugees fled into the wild, hoping to build new lives elsewhere.